everybody. Welcome to Little Rock Top Homestead. So today I wanted to show you what I'm doing with my eggs. And maybe you can do this too. Um, boiling them. So I've got two pots here going. Boiling some eggs. Because um, I don't know if you can double layer eggs when you're boiling them. So I just got two pots. And over here... These are all the eggs that floated when I did a float test on them. The thing with the float test, it tells you how old eggs are. And um, all these ones that floated are pretty old because um, I believe it's the older they get, the more air pockets, the, the bigger the air pocket gets. And so when they're very old, they float. And I don't want to eat those um, because it's a good chance they're not good. Um, and then... All my other eggs that I have in the pots, they all were standing upright, which means they're like two weeks plus old, but not old enough to float. So they could, there could still be a rotten one in there, but the chances are less. So we're gonna just boiling them all. I have one egg carton that I'm not boiling because I know those have the freshest eggs in them. But I went through this many, um, let me see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven egg containers of eggs. And I have quite a few really old ones and then the ones I'm boiling. So I, it just kind of got out of hand. Whenever you have chickens, and they really start laying, and if you're not eating eggs every day, phew, they overwhelm you. So, um, I have a lot, and I'm boiling them, and when I crack them open, I guess I'll see if they're good or not. But, I figured I can make egg salad, I can make deviled eggs, ignore my cabinets. I don't know how to shut them when I open them. Anyways, I'm going to make deviled eggs and egg salad, just... Maybe some, I don't know, whatever else I can do with deviled eggs or boiled eggs. Last year I told myself that whenever I started getting overwhelmed with eggs again, I'll start water glassing them because um, that really came in handy last year through the winter. But I lost track of time with it. I just, some of these have been sitting on the counter for a while and so I did not want to water glass them. You want to water glass your freshest eggs so you know you got some real good ones, but look at that, that's a, that's a lot of eggs. So this is the next day now, time just got away from me yesterday. Um, I did get all those eggs boiled and they're all pretty good. So now I've got a bag, look at this bright. I have a leftover bag from oranges. I save all these netted bags and I'm going to harvest some mullet and I'm gonna take you with me. Okay, we're gonna go down here to the big mullein first, and then we'll work our way up. Isn't this a pretty area, all this seed? Quick pit stop before we harvest the mullein. Um, my mom brought me this hosta up from her house and we planted it here and put this big rock. And my plan is for this little area here to be like a shade garden. Not necessarily like vegetables and stuff, but um, shade loving plants. And just make this look really pretty instead of just brush. On the mullein. There's the big boy. There's some big ones up here. So I don't want to get the little ones in here. I don't want to get the base ones. I want to get the middle. These. That's what I have been told to do. So I'll look at some of the best ones. I don't know what all this is. Is all that yellow stuff? I'm assuming that's from bugs this in my sack. Okay, this one I have harvested from because you can see the difference between the center and the bottom leaves. Um, I harvested leaves and have them strung up in my house right now. So I'm going to skip this one. Maybe it'll put a big shoot up. I don't know. I've never harvested mullein before this year. I really did not know a whole lot about it. 
My lovely cousin Sarah knows all this stuff. And so she tells me things all the time. I guess it don't matter if it's got a hole in it. It's going to put up a stalk. Okay, I don't want to take too much from each plant because I'm not sure how much you're supposed to take off safely. Because I don't want these things to die out at all. This one, I just took the stalks off this side. Um, I'm leaving these, or stalks, the leaves. I'm gonna leave those on, that side. And I can always come back and get more if I need to. Hopefully I don't take off too much. Now we're gonna go down here, find more mullein. Just not hard. Look at these daisies. I love when all these wild daisies come out. They're all in that field too. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. I found the other set of mullein patches. And I'm just going to be careful not to step on a snake. Because I have been known to walk right over snakes. So I don't see them very easily. While the wind is quiet, I just found a whole bunch of new blackberry bushes. I don't know if you can tell because they've already bloomed out, but looky there. They're everywhere. I'm going to have such a good blackberry harvest this year. I am so excited. These are all along the side of our house. I didn't know they were here. I guess I didn't see them last year. I have got a pretty good bag full, so I'm going to call that good for today. Okay, so I got my all-in back in. Yeah. Uh, so much. Um, so now I need to wash it. I wish I could just really show you how much is in there. It's a lot. This is a lot. Um, so now I need to wash it dry it off and I'm going to put some in the dehydrator. I got my dehydrator back um, from my brother and then the other I think I'm going to string it up. I have some over there hung from earlier this year and looking at how small they are I'm like whoa compared to these but um, I have them strung together and they're still not like real dry but I think some of these I'm going to string them in like a row and then other ones I think I'm going to bunch them up and hang them. I'm going to try different methods because I've never done this before really. Um, so I want to see what way I like and plus I think it'd be really pretty to have these hung throughout my house. Um, my house is a little bit plants everywhere, weird stuff everywhere, but I like that. It makes me feel cozy. So I'm going to go ahead and work on these and I'll, I'll get back at you when I'm ready to do things with them. I'm gonna wash them. Okay, so I have the first layer washed and laid out. And now I have to do the second layer. Second layer down. Second and final layer. This is all the mullet I collected. Um, I'm so excited about this. Oh, there's that, there's my other layer. And I think I'm going to lay some more towels on top of this and then take a rolling pin and roll it out. I'm very impatient, so I want these to dry quickly. 
All right. Okay, so Google told me to put these in my dehydrator at 95 degrees and it said 35 Celsius. Mine set to Celsius. I don't know how to change it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna load these up and get that going. And then I'm gonna have to bunch a lot more and hang them because this is way too much for my dehydrator. <laughs> okay, sorry if you can hear the dehydrator going, but it is running. I loaded it up and I have five trays of mullein leaves, which did not take me very far. Um, so the rest I bundled up in bunches. I've got one, two, three, four, and five. This is the small one. So, um, like I guess I've never done this before, but this, um, not this one, but this one I'm concerned I have a little bit too dense. It did not fluff out like the other ones. They're very um, wide and a lot of room. This one I'm scared might mold, but um, I'm, I'm learning. So I will learn by trial and error. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I don't know. It could do just fine. It might also not, so. Okay, some of these leaves are massive. Huge! But I'm gonna hang these up. Um, I'm not entirely sure where. Oh, you can see me in the glass. Let me just get that out of the way. Okay, I'm not entirely sure where I want to hang these up. Um, I know like an, I think they're supposed to get a lot of airflow. I, I think. Um, but it said not like, but kind of in a darker area is what I have heard before on drying herbs. Um, but last year, whenever I dried like my basil, I just hung it from these cabinets. I just tied onto these handles and hung it here. But I don't want to do that this time because we are having our daughter's birthday party here this weekend. And there's going to be a lot of people in and out of my house. And I don't want these to be in the way. When it's just us, it's not that big of a deal. But I think I'm either... Let me show you. Let me show you my ideas. Okay, so... Oh, I am sorry for my hair being a mess. I recently got my bangs back. And I just wanted them out of my face today. So I was thinking here would honestly be a great spot. Um, it does get a lot of light though through these windows. Today is kind of a cloudy day, so you can't really tell, but I got big windows and stuff, but no one, nobody messes with this area ever. <laughs> um, this is the only thing we do is put some stuff there, but no one's really reaching through here. I have a desk in front of it. And then the other side is the couch. So this would be a great spot. I'm thinking, um, but my, also another spot that does not get any light really ever is our hallway, which you don't see a lot of, but I could hang them up here along this wall or even above this picture, like above that picture or on this wall would be kind of cool to do and just have them hung up through the hallway it would look actually kind of pretty. Um, leaves I harvested oh geez I don't know how long ago that was oh they're getting crunchy that one's not they're starting to dry out really good a little crunchy and see these ones I just strung like this so they had a lot of room and uh, so I'll have this experiment of drying like that and then I have the bunches that I'm doing and the dehydrator and I can do the oven I as well I don't want to just because my oven is propane and I'm not sure how well that could stay on low um consistently I'm not entirely sure so I don't know where I'm gonna put these yet but I'm so excited to finally have these harvested and doing something with them because I have I have been told 
by numerous people and looking online and doing all the research that mullein is the best thing for respiratory and mucus. Like if you want to get your mucus out, you take some mullein and it's gone in like 20 minutes. You get it all out. So I know you can buy it in capsules in the vitamin section of stores and it's just supposed to be great. But I mean, I have it growing everywhere. So I, it'd be awesome to do it myself um, from ones that I have harvested. And I'm just, I'm just so stoked. I'm really, really learning more and more about herbal medicine and I really want to get into that. So I just, I'm so excited. So anyways, the first big harvest of this year and it was very unintentionally grown. It's my mullein, not my garden. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. And I guess I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.